The history of Italtel begins in July 1921 with the establishment in Milan of Siemens SA, a branch of the German Siemens that was already working in the telephone and electromechanical industry in those years. The company's business developed very quickly. Production was diversified to electrical machinery, radio equipment and household appliances, in addition to telecommunications equipment. In the early 50s, the company launched a major development co program and was incorporated into the Institute for Industrial Reconstruction, IRI. Electronic techniques and technologies became part of the company's business and expertise. In 1960, the company had more than 5,000 employees. Years of great industrial expansion followed, first concentrated on Milan and then towards southern Italy. The name was changed to Società Italiana Telecomunicazioni Siemens, abbreviated to SIT Siemens, and the company operated exclusively in the telecommunications and electronic sectors. In 1967, the telephone Grillo, designed by Richard Suppert and Marco Zanuso, wins the Compasso d'Oro Award and becomes an icon of design exhibited in modern art museums around the world. At the end of the 60s, an ambitious project was started, the design of the Proteo Electronic Telephone Exchange. Entirely designed and developed in Italian labs, Proteo constitutes the initial brick of an autonomous and regional development of public switching electronic technology. In the early 70s, in Italy, the plan to cover the whole country with user direct distance dialing was completed. Most of the exchanges were supplied by Sid Siemens. In 1980, the company changed its name to Italtel. Foreign development had slowed down, telephone investments in Italy were holding back. The need for a relaunch of the company was on the horizon. Marisa Bellisario, the first Italian female manager, was appointed CEO in 1981 with the mission of reorganizing the company. Positive results were achieved in accordance with the programs, thanks to Marisa Belisario's managerial skills and determination, along with the support of her team. Italtel's 1983 financial statements received the Italian Oscar di Bilancio. At the International Telecommunications Exhibition in Geneva in 1983, the second generation of digital switching exchanges, the Linea UT system, was presented as a world premiere. In the mid-80s, 50% of production of Italtel was based on electronic technologies, while it was only 20% at the beginning of the decade. Always looking for products that combine functionality with a precise aesthetic touch, Italtel relied on Giorgio Armani, the highest expression of Italian style in the world, to design Notturno, the new telephone with an innovative and prestigious design. The development of mobile telephony and the need to address the convergence of IT and telecommunications led in June 1989 to the strategic cooperation agreement with AT&T, at the time the world's largest telecommunications company. At the beginning of the 90s, the UT system was one of the three most important in the world, one of the few developed and produced by a company with its own know-how. Italtel invested 11% of its turnover in development and innovation. Its technology was in China, in the Philippines, in Southeast Asia. In Russia, Italtel was the first supplier for switching systems. On 24 May 1992, Pope John Paul II visits the Italtel plant in Santa Maria Capua Vetere. In his speech, the Pope defines telecommunications tool for the unity of mankind. At the end of the 90s, the number of UT exchange lines installed in more than 20 countries was 20 million. A strong team of software specialists was set up alongside the production of UT exchanges. Preference was given to IP technology, which was establishing with the unstoppable spread of the web. 
Italtel began to operate as a distributor and integrator of Cisco system products, at that time a young company of Silicon Valley, California. The challenge of the 2000s was producing systems to handle voice and data traffic in new IP-based networks and Italtel won it through IMSS, its own soft switch. Italtel was the first telecommunications company in the world to transfer a significant portion of an incumbent operator's voice traffic over the IP network, both at national and international level. Products and integrated solutions were exported to many markets, mainly in Europe and Latin America. The products and solutions for next-generation telecommunications, networks and services dominated in the following years. In its solutions, Italtel included proprietary products, networking engineering and consulting services, SDN, NFV, 5G, cybersecurity, cloud and Internet of Things are some of the areas on which R&D activities were focused. Today, the digital transformation process is affecting all sectors of the economy. Digitization is at the heart of Italtel's activities by combining its traditional skills in telecommunication networks and services with solutions and applications for digital transformation. For every company, being capable of change and transformation is a value. This is what Italtel has been doing for a hundred years.